a bell rings, an angel gets its wings? Yes? It is a load of crap. However, here in Chicago City Limits, every time this bell rings, the actor has to change the last thing they said, or did, and they have to continue changing it until I stop ringing this bell. So to get us started, what I need is um, the subject of a dream you had recently. Wilted flowers. Wilted flowers, great, thank you. We now take you to a scene inspired by wilted flowers, and remember to listen for the bell. Baby, our lives ain't gonna be worth nothing. I mean, you you worked hard on this here garden. I've seen you every day. You did see me. I worked hard on it. I planted all the plants right in a row, and now they're all bent over like they're praying or something. Like they're sleeping or something. Like they need a little blue pill. <laughs> I thought you wasn't gonna bring out them blue pills no more. When I get sick, I need an aspirin, and I take it, and then I feel better and stand strong. Yeah, you were taking lots of aspirin in times when you wasn't even sick, boy. Oh, I didn't know you knew about my aspirin addiction. <laughs> well, when a, when a mother makes her boy's bed and he sees under the pillow, a empty, when he sees under the mattress, when she sees <laughs> under the pillow in the mattress, <laughs> empty bottles of Anison and Bayer, now, now, Ma, you violated my, you violated, you violated my area by looking under my pillow and my blanket. I was making your bed. I was making your bed. I fell asleep accidentally and was cuddling up next to that there pillow when the empty bottle got stuck on my finger. Fine, Ma. I do have an addiction to Tylenol and aspirin. But it's only because of you! It's because of you! It's all your fault! Wait, you you drive me and drive me and you say fix our garden and fix our lives and I make a big mess of everything and I feel sad and go in the corner and pop up with aspirin and go sleep! <laughs> Son, I thought it was just aspirin I didn't know it was Tylenol too! <laughs> oh, Aunt Ma, I just confessed. Well, we need to be honest with each other. Alright, let's be honest right now. I'm going to tell you one thing that I'm going to be honest with you about and then you tell me one thing that you're going to be honest with me about. All right? All right. All right, I'll go first. Sometimes in the middle of the night, I take your cat and throw it out the top window and see if it really lands on its feet. Ernest! All right, you go. All right. Well, I told you your, your daddy had he left when you was a baby. Well, I don't know who your daddy was. Well, I do aspirin too. <laughs> to rise up. I think that's what you best do. Like if I just say I'm gonna not vote Republican, those flat flowers is gonna start to... <laughs> <laughs> Look, Ma, it's a Christmas miracle! They're standing straight up! <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm,